What's going on guys? Victor here. Clay with me, who you guys have seen before in a Deerfield Pier fishing video. And I am with Brooke. And before you guys move on oh. with this video, oh, we just lost light. Before you guys move on with this video, do me a huge favor and do Brooke a huge favor. She just started her own channel. So go down to the link in the description box below and please hit that subscribe button. She's right there. Subscribe. But needless to say, Tonight we are going to get into some, some nighttime snakeheads. I'm really excited. I've never done it before. It sounds really exciting. We're going to go and spot him with a light. Clay's done it before. Yep. But first, it's story time. He's got a really oh. funny story to tell you, so I'm going to hand the camera over to him. So a couple years ago, I was in this neighborhood with my buddy where we're about to fish. And we we're instead of fishing for him, we were both fishing for some snakeheads. So we parked at a building which we thought was an abandoned. Ended up being a fire station. So we parked there. There was no cars. Walked out with our bows and I guess the fire department called the cops saying that two men just walked into a neighborhood with crossbows and it was <laughs> we we looked stupid we were in full camo it was cold out it was freezing that's all we had on because we we're going duck hunting in like a couple hours or something like that and uh so we're walking around and we're just shining our lights walking around the canals and I come up on this road and all of a sudden this cop car just comes flooring up Puts the spotlight on, just like, get on the ground, get on the ground, yelling at me. I'm just like, so I drop the bow, just lay on the ground, put my hands up. Or no, I didn't, no, I didn't say get on the ground. He said, put your hands up and turn around. So we put our hands up and turned around, and we're just standing there, like, waiting. And you can hear, like, a bunch of people in the background. So whatever, we pull up our shirts, we walk towards, they tackle us to the ground, handcuff us, put us on the ground, bring us over to the cop cars, search our bodies, whatever, put us in the cop cars, and just start taking us off to the... I guess police department or jail, wherever they're gonna take us to check us in, and I'm like, what the heck? Like, like we're, we're just doing, fishing. Yeah, we're just fishing. Like we're not doing anything wrong. We're like walking around with legal weapon, and it was late. It was like two in the morning, and we're like, it was just, it's just a bow. Like it's not a crossbow. It's nothing bad. Or like whatever. They're still bringing us. My dad's uh, pretty high in the police department, so ended up talking to him, realizing that hey, nothing's wrong with what they're doing. Uh, it's not a crossbow. It's not illegal. But I got out of it, it's no big deal, but it was really scary, that's for sure, being in the back of a cop car for something I didn't do. For fishing. For so fishing. Moral of the story is, do not walk around um, at yes. night with a bow. And in if a neighborhood. You do, in a neighborhood. In a neighborhood. Decked out in camo. Or you might get arrested. You will get arrested. Like, I did. promise you will get arrested. So That was the biggest snake I've ever seen. Yes, I didn't wait you didn't wait a second. Victor, you didn't wait. You didn't, you didn't wait. wait. And you hit my stomach when you're a freaking frog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So we've seen like three now. I've missed one. I said the hook too early because I got a little excited because it's my first time, but. We've seen three, and we're still on the hunt, we're still trying to get one. All right, we are back. Last night, I missed a lot of fish. I got way too excited. The whole nighttime thing definitely threw me off, but me and Claire are back. Brooke couldn't make it tonight. It's just to work early in the morning, but uh, I'm here to redeem myself. But as a precaution, I let Clay be the one with the rod first because I have the hot hand, and by hot hand, I mean I set the hook way too early. Gotta right. let him eat. <laughs> Gotta let him eat. Got him. Got him! Got him! Oh, that was sick! That's a big one too! Ooh! Oh, we did it! Dude, he, you see Clay, he did it that was back. a nice one, bro! That was nice. Holy Dude, smokes, that, that is so aggressive. I couldn't have the camera on because we figured out that they do not want to eat with Dude, the light he hit on. It. He hit it, came back, swallowed it. Like, yeah. That was... That's a good size one. Good. Bro. That was, ex that one literally ate at your feet. That was intense. That was right at my feet. I really wish I could, I wish I could have got the, like, the hit and everything on video, but we've learned over the past few days that when you have the light on, that they do not want to eat it. They will eat it, but there's a lot less likelihood of them eating it, but he's swallowed it, and we don't have any pliers on us. Go out from that side, exactly, and pull down. Pull the hooks down. Let me see this. Hold the line tight, and I'm going to push down on the hooks with, with the scissors. Got him. Got him. See, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay. What? All right, release him. Go. 
She gone. She gone. That was a good bite. Nice one, bro. Got it. Ooh. Oh, he spooked. Oh, she gone. She's gone. No, I wonder if we got that on video. I don't There's think that no one would have eaten anyway, because yeah. when they have when they have their head just like buried in the grass yeah. like that, I don't think they eat. Okay, we just got done with the first spot, and one big problem we had is we did not have a good spotlight because when we're walking up on these snakeheads, you gotta spot them from pretty far away, really otherwise far they away. spook. But we're bringing the sun to we the got night. The sun. Oh, oh you're yeah. blinding me! Oh, there's two levels. 900 lumens. We got the most badass flashlight in Target right now, so we're gonna spot some snakes. Stay tuned. It's about to get interesting. Got him. got him, got him. Oh No, he came off? How? He did eat it though, didn't he? Oh yeah, I had him, dude. I did not set the hook. <laughs> you had one of those today where you were... <laughs> you know I did not set the hook. No, you didn't. You're good. He followed it. Yeah, he did. It was one. Is it? Oh, it's yeah. a nice bass. Nice bass. No. Yeah. No. Well, I can't catch a snakehead, but uh, here's a bass. Here's a bass. I back. So the story behind this fish is I backlashed and uh, I was the filming. Outside, didn't even set the hook. There we go. Didn't even set the hook. Didn't even need to set the hook. No hook set needed. Ugh. Ow! All right, we got him. We got him. Did not get scuck this trip. That's a nice size bass. Yeah, not bad at all. Has to be there again. I don't know what it is, but we got him. We're on him. It's a bass. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, it's a snake. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, it's a bass. Another nice. We're in bass country. Nighttime bass fishing with the frogs. I guess they, uh, the rain's got them fired up. I did set the hook that You time. did set the I hook that time. I did set dog. the hook. <laughs> for snake guys, and we got a little friend right there. We got a gator. Hey, Mr. Gator. Like a little sick, what, five, six footer? Yeah. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> She's pissed. Victor, what is the worst thing about snakehead fishing? Stickers in your shoes, but I don't have any. No, the most disappointing thing is walking long distances, seeing them, not getting bit, and then having to walk all the way back because you're not in a giant circle lake. All right. the way back. Which is Cannot like, see the truck, but... Yeah, that's how far we are. We it is so far. Got it. There we go. No! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh my gosh. god. Play. I let him eat. You I did. You set the hook. He was on. That was good. That was the most wily snakehead I have ever heard. <laughs> Do you see that? I saw did it, you yeah. Did that on video? Yeah, I got oh, on video. That was, that was crazy. That was good. But that was perf picture perfect. Casted it to him. He ate it. But he just spit it. He was a. Uh, Dude, he didn't quite, hook him. quite the acrobat, wasn't he? You're Found the breeding grounds. Look at all those suckers. Staring straight at us. See, now you're starting to get into them. Got him! Yes! <laughs> sick. That was sick. That's a nice one, bro. You're gonna be able to flip him? Jeez! Come on, man. Come on. Come on. That's a stud. That's a stud. Damn, Clay, that is a stud. That's a stud. What the? That's not even the one that I saw, bro. That is, that oh, one he is. Peeled you recording? That oh, one is yeah. giant. Hold on. If you guys look, that's my shoe right there next to his head. That's a, that's a big fish. That is not a little fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. After we gotta, this. We got to get a picture before that thing's done. Yeah, this, this is a nice one. This is a really nice one. 
Look at how fat it is. Like, dude, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. He that peeled thing, drag. That thing hit on the shore. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I always think snakeheads and just other fish just never get justice in video. But look at my hand right here, and look at the girth of his belly and his head. This is—he's not very long, but he's fat. He's so fat. That was nice. Definitely. This is the big. This is the fattest snakehead I have ever seen when it comes to girth to length ratio. Look at this belly. It's That's giant. Cool. Giant. All right, loosen him. Boom. Go. All right. Sorry, what I need to do. <laughs> Victor. Come on. Yeah, come on. Get him up there. Oh my. I'm cursed. I'm cursed. That was such a good one too. Oh my god. I'm cursed. Big dirt. I'm about to throw my rod in the water. <laughs> the hook didn't even pull, the line broke. 65 pound braid. Touch the rock on the edge there. Actually, no. You know what happened? No. The wire, the wire gauge of the hook cut through the braid. The snakehead didn't cut through the braid. The wire actually cut through the braid or it got nicked in that, you know when you don't have a welded ring hook, it got caught in the ring right there and it split it right there. Cause my knot's still there. Yep. Wow. That is heartbreaking. And I don't have any other hooks on me. So we kind of don't have a choice but to go back. <laughs> yeah, it's late. it's late. Welcome to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I lost a lot of snakeheads today. Not really, I only lost two, but um, it's funny because I've only lost one other snakehead in my entire life, and that was due to a pulled hook. Today, I lost a snakehead due to a pulled hook. And then I lost another one because my line got caught in the eye of the hook because it is not a welded hook. Clay caught two, we got two bass, but we did find a really sick, epic nighttime snakehead spot. The last spot we went to, we probably walked like two miles, but we saw so many and um, Clay's done the whole snakehead thing before at night. I never have, but like, we're getting better. We realize that you gotta be super, super stealthy when it comes to these fish in the nighttime thing. So if you guys ever have a chance to do the nighttime snakehead thing, and if I could give you any tips, it is to be very cautious. Don't overlook an area. Have a really long projected um, spotlight that you can see them. Because if you don't, you're going to spook them. A lot of the times, they'll be tucked up into the grass and you got to be able to spot them from far away if you don't. And when you do spot them, turn that light off right away. Cast around that area where you saw them last and they usually hit it. And at night, don't make the same mistake I did. Let them eat. Let it lay and watch it pay, as Mitchell would say. Alright? If you guys made it to the end of this video, make sure to comment below, let it eat. Don't be a Guggen like me, and make sure to let your snakeheads eat. And I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video.